Hey, welcome back. Active Duty Outdoors and the Freedom Farm. I want to make a quick video. I know you guys uh, you guys know that we got Lady, our uh, Tennessee Walker, who was a little light when we got her. Been trying to put some weight on her. We've had her for about, um, I don't know, probably about a month now. I uh, just want to show you guys the process of fattening a horse up and what we're doing. Um, it's a mixture of premium Ultima uh, horse feed and about a pound and a half of beet pulp. And then of course the hay throughout the day. Um, so far she's putting on a lot of weight. Anyways, I'll show you that process and I will show you lady, see how she's doing. <laughs> Beet pulp is pretty cool. This is the pellets. And then when we soak this, it's gonna fill up this whole bucket that I'm about to put it in. So as you can see, we're about halfway between the one pound and the two pounds. It's not an exact science. The one of the two pounds I measured out on our little scale. Throw that in there, and then tonight around five o'clock, I'm gonna soak this in water, and I'll let you see how how much that blows up. If you notice, it's barely even coating the bottom. So, and then uh, to supplement, we throw in a little bit of this red cell in the morning, give her about two ounces of that. And uh, as you can see, she's over there right now, chowing down. She's already done with her her mix. You guys. You guys hear my guineas over there? Love them, guys. Sarah thinks they're loud and obnoxious. I think they're pretty awesome. Two of the six. So we were able to, to grow up two of the six that we had, four of them, as you guys know, if you watched the previous videos, um, didn't make it. That stupid, stupid fox that we still have yet to catch. Look at Lady. She's a... Uh, She's putting on weight. Her ribs you can't really see anymore. Um, we need to fill in some of her muscles. Got her fly mask on her because the flies out here are stupid. But check her out. She's looking pretty good. What's up lady? Wanna say hi to everybody? But well, she's starting to put on some weight. Before when we first got her, all of her spine up here and everything was sticking out pretty bad. And her ribs are really, really sticking out. She gets her hay, she gets her grain, tears up that whole bucket. This whole bucket fills up with that beet pulp stuff like I was saying. So she enjoys it. And the goats enjoy sitting up in her hay and eating it. There they are, old Nan and Buzz. Buzz the fainting goat that we haven't seen faint yet. I think he's broke, like most of our other animals. Renegade back there in the background. And then we built this little, this little tabletop for these goats. They love it, they run and jump on it. Gotta get them some more stuff to play on because goats are, uh, they like playing, I guess. Anyways, um, stick around. I'm gonna finish this up tonight when I get home from work and I will, show you guys the feeding process and what we're doing to fatten up our horse it's just the slow process we know that uh we've only had her for a month so we know that we're not going to get some crazy awesome fat results right out the bat and even if we did that would not be that wouldn't be healthy so slow and smooth wins the race as they say and uh she'll get fat she'll get healthy she'll get a, a lot of muscle tone take her out for walks walk her around a little bit get the kids on her ride her Rider a little bit around the property, except for our stupid freaking horse flies that are in our woods. Anytime we ride or bring lady around the woods, she gets annihilated. So if you guys have any tips or tricks, fly sprays or uh, home remedies, let me know because uh, we'll be interested in trying them out because it's not fair for her to have to get eaten, uh, eaten alive out here. All right, I'll see you guys tonight. Check out those guineas up there. Hanging out on top of the chicken coop. What a bunch of weirdos. See if we can get close to them. They'll probably freak out, start screaming at me. What's up, guineas? You're starting to get ugly. Say something. Make some of your weird noises. Of course you again. This uh, this wouldn't be the Freedom Farm if we didn't have some jacked up, weird animals. Look at this little guy. 
these are our, some of our chickens, smaller of the set. Look at this guy's beak. There he is. Look at this poor guy. The dang beak is on crooked. Nice little guy, come on. Come on, little guy. Go on. Go on. Need some help? All right, as promised, I am home from work and I have my beet pulp in my bucket. I'm gonna fill it up. I'm gonna show you guys how far the water goes. I'm gonna turn on some lighting. Not the best lighting, but here's a good picture. So here we go, filling it up. The more water, the better. It's gonna absorb it all. Not a big deal on how much water you put in. So I usually go about two to three inches above the beet pole line. We're gonna let that sit for an hour and then I'll show you what it does. All right, check that out. You know how much that made? That's almost full. Ducks. I think it's their time to eat. So then I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna get a big old scoop. That's gonna go in there. The renegade gets his. Okay, and these ducks. What am I gonna do for these ducks? I'll give these ducks some grain at least. You guys probably can't even hear me right now because these ducks are so stinking loud. Come on. Come on, ducka duckers. There. Well, I'm back here where we keep this hay. It is uh, under my pole barn. As you can see, it's a big round bale that we pull the hay off of and bring over. I don't want to put a big round bale out. One, because it's going to get rained on and I don't want the hay going moldy. And then two, I don't want a lady just out there free ranging. So I sit in here and I pull this hay out one handful at a time. Just work my way around this bale. That way we can control the amount of hay that lady's eating. Cause we don't want her to get a hay belly. She's looking pretty dang good, other than all the sweat. Cause it's hot out here. Cause she lives in Georgia with 98% humidity. Look at them goats. They're ready for some food too. Come on, lady. Come on. Watch out, Nan, you're gonna get stepped on. You know it doesn't feel good to get stepped on. Sometimes, oh, Nan forgets that she's a little goat and she gets in the way of lady when lady's walking. Well, lady can't see under her feet. Watch lady, watch her. Watch how excited she gets here. Hey, don't run me over. You ready? You ready, lady? There you go. Can mix that up a little bit. Cool. Big old horse flying here. She don't like. She don't like it. Hey, goats. That ain't yours. Give Renegade his little dose. Come on, Renny. Come on, buddy. Here. You go to one some? There you go. Let's see. She's getting some she's getting some weight on her. Look at. Where's her ribs at? You can barely see her ribs coming through a little bit. But way. Way less than before. She likes her food. That's it, that's how we're fattening up this horse. If you guys have any tips or tricks on what you guys do to fatten up your horses when uh, they're hard eaters or have to put on weight, comment below on what you guys do. This is what I've learned to do. This is what everybody that I know that raises horses has told me, but if you guys got something else, 
Let me know. Comment below. Don't forget, like and subscribe, and we will see you guys on the next one.